Create temporary phone numbers on your iPhone with Burner. An Ubuntu for Android video emerges, and a real life test of the new virtual assistant Robin for Android, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Jack Threads. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews. I am Jackie Talbot. And I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And you did a little road trip the other day with Graham, I believe. Yes, him and I went out to get some lunch mm -hmm. in a very difficult place to park. And yeah. so we were like, Robin, help us out. Yeah, you we know? talked about Robin before. It's the new personal assistant that apparently helps you look for parking, specifically here in San Francisco. <laughs> they have all the parking meters are part of a, a massive uh, connected network service. They're all service. electronic. So uh, Robin is theoretically able to tap into that system and tell you where uh, a parking spot is available. Theoretically. Theoretically. Keyword there. We're going to find out in a sec. Yeah. But first, we got some news. Burner is a privacy layer for your iPhone providing alias phone numbers at the push of a button. This is kind of cool. I think it's an awesome idea yeah. for like dating or selling things if you want to use Craigslist. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. That's it's, awesome. It's really, it's it's like a nice kind of anonymous layer yeah. that you don't have to like go through any weird. I've seen services like this for emails, mm -hmm. um, right. throw away email accounts, but this is uh, the first one that I've seen for um, for phone numbers. Yeah. Um, if you know of any other services, please send them our way because I'd be Kind of cool to have a showdown. Yeah, one of the I think cooler, it's interesting. Yeah, totally. One of the cooler things I think was the sort of the burn after you're done with the number because you can have it for like a month or something. Yeah. And there's like the burn button. Like, get <laughs> like rid of done. it. Done. Do not want to see this guy anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Trello is the easiest way to organize anything. Now on Android. Previously it was iOS only, and this app serves as literally the best way to do collaborative things. You can have whiteboards. There's teams, this supports teams of just one or up to a hundred. That's a lot of people. Yeah, it's real-time collaboration, checklists, due dates. Lots of stuff. Everything. So whether you're like in school and you need to do a group project yeah. or at work even, this is actually a really good solution for small businesses and students. Yeah, I, I'm a big OmniFocus user on Mac and iPhone, but uh, I haven't really found any great solutions on Android, and I think this is uh, your best bet so far. Yes. Slightly different than OmniFocus. Anyways, try it. <laughs> also, Ubuntu for Android. Ooh, get shown Ooh. off and detailed. We want this as soon as possible. That's what the title's called, but we want it too as yes. soon as possible. <laughs> you can transform your high-end phone into your productive desktop whenever you need it. Now, Joy Life is reporting that Ubuntu needs access to each phone's driver, which means that OEMs like Samsung, Motorola, and HTC would have to be interested in this to get it running at the speed that it should. Uh, by the way, for those who don't know, Ubuntu is a distribution of Linux. Right. Um, I happen to use it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, now it's for Android. Steam is getting interested in Linux more and more. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely on the up and up. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Uh, there's a video right here, right now. Go. TV aqui no caso e você tem o teu ambiente desktop aqui. Ah. Oops, that was all in Portuguese. Sorry, if I you're not Portuguese. Understand. Uh, but there's some pretty <laughs> visuals there. Yes, so you can watch it on, on mute. Yes. Now on to the rapid fire. Google Translate app gets a weighty update. It'll now translate signs through your smartphone camera. Mm. And we've got a couple of Mobage powered releases for you. In Transformers Battle, you can build your own Transformer teams to battle for Earth as an Autobot or Decepticon. I'm all about the Decepticon. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in Marvel War of Heroes, players step into the shoes as a shield agent and team up with iconic Marvel heroes to battle evil. The Marvel War of Heroes story is a completely original script written in cooperation with Marvel. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Coming up, Graham and I tested out the new Robin personal assistant during a little Android powered lunch trip. Mm, how'd that go? Well, you will see in just one second. But first... Okay. <laughs> Jack Threads has quickly become the online shopping destination for dudes and here's why. Everything on the site is up to 80% off. Because paying full price is clearly for suckers. Mm -hmm, obviously. <laughs> they serve up killer contemporary and street apparel, accessories and gadgets from brands like Converse, Penguin, and the hundreds even. Boys and Penguin shirts are cuter, actually. It's scientifically true. Truthiness. Uh, shopping is stupid simple and all styles are curated so buyer's remorse just does not happen. There is no regrets, guys. I'm telling you, none. And as a viewer of App Judgment, you can skip the membership wait list and get instant access right now. Head over to jackthreads.com slash appjudge. That's right. We're creeping up on school days, so make sure you get your back to school threads at jackthreads.com slash appjudge. So we saw the promo video for Robin, the new uh, voice activated virtual assistant for Android that's a free app. And we saw the promo video and it was really cute, really good, but it looked a little bit set up. It looked almost too good to be true. 
Can you find parking near Café de la Presse? Oh, Café de la Presse, huh? Ah. <laughs> Looking for Café de la Presse. The cheapest one is 101 Jesse. Yeah, this is the parking spot. All right. Well, um, it worked really well, and so we decided we're going to check out this uh, sushi burrito place. It's a sushi burrito, if you haven't heard of it. And we're going to see if it actually will help us find parking and get us there easy and fast. So parking's pretty hard around there. Let's see, if, let's see how it does. Robin. <laughs> we're looking for a sushi rito in downtown San Francisco. I could not find any. Shall we try something else? No. Where is sushi rito? I could not find any. Oh my god. Shall we try something else? We're looking for 59 New Montgomery Street. Okay, looking for 59 New Montgomery Street. Just in case, here are some parking choices for you. Let's look for something cheaper. The cheapest one is... On Street Spot at 101 Jesse, less than 500 feet away and costs $1.75 an hour. The competition seems to be medium there. That sounds good. We'll take that. That's a tough one. I'll have to ask my parents. <laughs> this, this particular area isn't known for its easy parking, which is I'm... why there's a lot of garages everywhere, right? That you'll pay yeah. 20 bucks to park there because you just don't want to fight it out for these street parking spots. So there's a medium demand spot where supposedly working for right now. We had to kind of tell it, hey, we're looking for parking on this specific street. Yeah. And we set a nav point to actually take us to that spot. It says that it is definitely open. It says that there's 0% chance that someone's going to be in that spot. We will see if it is correct. There it is. Will we ever make it? So here we are. And it wants us to take a right and take another left as soon as we get to mission. All right, it says that the spot should literally be right, right there right. where that car is. Where that car is? <laughs> I, will, I will be very impressed if the spot that it's taking us to is open. Yeah, go. Or if this okay. guy takes us. He's going to take it because I was nice and let him go. Dang! Here we go. Anybody see a parking I spot? I do not. I see lots of red and lots of cars parked and not mm. me. So there's three spots here and three spots there, but they're full. Yeah, those are the yellow. Robin. Robin, you did us wrong, girl. All right, so we found our we found a spot on our own, but Robin kind of got us in the area. So we're gonna see if she will tell us that this spot is available. All right. Which technically it should be because it's expired. Because we haven't paid the meter yet, yeah. so it's not in the system. So right now, let's see if our spot that we're in actually shows up. Find parking near me. Looking for parking nearby. You're in one, dummy. <laughs> The closest one is 85 Second Street Parking Garage, less than 500 feet away and costs $15 an hour. Let's go for a cheaper parking spot. Looking for parking at Let's Go Order by Pride. <laughs> Find cheap parking. Uh. Uh oh. Find cheap parking near me. I ordered my prize. Here are some parking choices for you. The cheapest one is on Street Spot at 36 We're second, on. less than 500 feet We're away, on Mission plus Street, one dollars right. and 75 cents an hour. We have busted this demo video. I think. I, busted. <laughs> I think. Hey, we can say that now. Yeah, it's we not, can. We can't get sued by our own company. Um, <laughs> But so what I think is, you know, that demo video, while it was nice, it was definitely planned. Uh, we ran into a lot of little tiny issues with uh, with this, like it not understanding what, yeah. what we want, uh, it trying to take us uh, back in the same direction we came to find parking. Uh, so I think, you know, I'm really impressed with how quickly it works and how quickly it, it kind of decides it knows what you want to do. But definitely have a lot of bugs to fix, a lot of <laughs> issues, GPS issues. Um, this is kind of what I was expecting. I don't know about you. I wasn't yeah. really expecting it to be as perfect as they made it out to be, but I think they can work on it and it has, I think it still has potential, but mm -hmm. I mean, 
I would say the whole reason you want hands-free is to make a to make driving and interacting with this device and having it do stuff for you a, a distraction-free thing. That's not going to happen. <laughs> having to constantly devote your attention to this thing yeah. uh, and it constantly getting things that you don't want it to do, I find that to be almost more distracting Absolutely. and more dangerous. So I just don't know if these kind of apps are ready for prime time yet.